All right, in this video, I just wanted to give a quick overview of the generative AI capabilities in the Vertex AI platform. So let's start by navigating to the model garden. This is the model hub or the one single pane of glass to discover and explore Google's first party models, as well as open source models and partner models. So here you can see the foundation models. I can expand the list to see First, we have here some of the Google models like Imagine for image generation, Chirp for the transcription, we have Palm 2 for chat and Kodi for code generation and completion. We also have open source models here like CodeLama, OpenLama, and Falcon and a few others like Stable Diffusion, Bird, etc. You can use the menu here on the left to filter by, for example, tasks in which case you get task specific models that have been fine tuned for that specific task. You can also filter by modalities, for example, vision or language and other modalities. You can also, you can also filter by features that are supported by the models. For example, if you wanna see the ones that are open source or the ones that have API available you can filter them here. Now for each of these models, you can click on view details to inspect some of the details of the model, which will include some basic information, use cases and documentation. For example, the supported languages in the code model here and some guidance on setting that up um, and consuming the API. You can also open prompt design, which will take you to Vertex AI Studio, which I will show you in a minute. But let's go back here just to explore a few more options. For example, Llama 2. In this case, because it is an open source model, you can open that in a notebook, which will take you to Colab Enterprise. And here you get some boilerplate code to work with the model, import the packages and dependencies to work with the vertex libraries. And here you can do things like fine tune the model, deploy it to an endpoint. So you get some guidance here in this notebook so you can work with, in this case, Llama 2. Now let's go back to the model garden. I'll show one more example for a task specific model here in vision domain. This one is also open source. So you also have an open notebook um, button. Um, you can also try the model right here by uploading an image to see the results. So depending on what the model is and depending on whether it's open source or Google's or partners model, you have different options here of what you can do with it and whether you have an API to consume the model or a notebook to work and have access to the model. Now let's go to Vertex AI Studio. So Vertex AI Studio, or I should say the Generative AI Studio is the place to interact and prototype uh, with these models. And you can choose by modality here. So if we go to language, we have access to a text prompt UI where we can write our prompts and experiment with different prompt design techniques. Here on the right is where we select the model that we are working with. So we have the Palm 2 models, the latest version, also the 32K context window token latest version, which is a separate model. And then we also have the version one model here and the Kodi models. So these are basically Google's foundation models in the text domain. You can also set things like temperature and token limit, top K and top P, which both work together with temperature to kind of determine the level of creativity, if you will, or um, more or less determinism in, in the responses. You can go investigate what these things do by hovering over the question mark icon here. You also get stop sequence and uh, as an input option here, you can also stream responses and you can configure the safety filters here 
or the output from these models. If you want to do a few shot prompting, there's a structure UI where you can add your examples here, input and output, just to make it a little bit easier to, to work with examples. If we go back here, you can also open a code prompt, which has a similar interface, but it will select the code model for you. You can also select a chat interface, in which case you have this little chatbot UI where you can interact with the chat Python model and the different versions of the chat Python model as well. You can also do code chat with the code chat um, Python models, in which case you can be asking questions here about code, generating code, asking Cody to explain code, etc. If we go back here to Gen TVI Studio, and if you scroll down, we also have access to some prompt examples. This is your gallery of prompts where you can explore some examples for different use cases, different tasks. Some of them are few shot examples, pre-populated for you. And you can obviously also create your own prompts and save them here as your own personal gallery. So that's more or less it for the language domain. Then over here we have vision with image generation, image edit, caption, and Q&A. And then over here we have the speech modality where you can do things like uh, speech synthesis from text or speech to text transcription using Google's large models for audio. So that was just a quick look of the capabilities in the foundation models in Vertex AI. There's a lot more to it that I haven't covered, like fine tuning models, distillation, reinforcement learning from human feedback, etc. But I plan to cover these in different videos. Thank you for watching.